f of x, or in this case, y should equal 0, right? f of x equals 0, or y equals 0. So if I want to find the x-intercept, y equals 0. So I place 0 equals 5 ninths x plus 2 squared minus 3. Now, what's nice about it in vertex form is you guys don't have to factor. Remember when we did quadratics all the time? We had to factor, right? We did this at the beginning of the year. x squared plus 3, um, x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. The only way to solve this was to factor and then use the zero product property. Well, that's a quadratic in standard form. This is a quadratic in uh, vertex form. You don't need to factor with this. You just need to use your reverse order of operations and the inverse operation. So the first thing we do is undo addition and subtraction. This problem is not going to look pretty. Then we need to undo. So you first always undo addition and subtraction. Then you undo multiplication and division. Then we have to undo squaring. Brian, are you okay? Are you okay? okay? Then you take the square root of both sides. Remember, you have to introduce to so take the plus or minus. And then you subtract. So the x intercepts are x equals plus or minus, uh, let's do negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 27 over 5. So you could write, now again, that's, I'm just kind of going, I just want to go over the process with you guys. You could write those as coordinate points as well. Um, 